Blessings, beautiful people. I hope all is well. I hope you guys are having a good day. How are you waiting on God? And by that I mean, like, what's what's your position in waiting? I know, I, man, sometimes I get anxious uh, for certain things, especially things that God has spoken to me and said to me. Um, I get excited and I'm like, okay, God, why hasn't this happened? You know, when is this going to happen? Sometimes our position uh, with God and waiting, we have to give gratitude. We have to be happy for the things that are happening in our life that God is doing. Just because what he spoke over you maybe 10, 15 years ago hasn't come to pass does not mean God is slack in his promises. They will come to pass, but you must have a grateful spirit. I know there are some, God has been promising me promotion and doors opening and you know i'm sitting waiting i'm like okay god i apply for this i i did the interview i did everything went well why why aren't they calling me why isn't you know what's going on why am i waiting why am i why is this happening and i start to doubt was it god did god say and not remembering man if he said it it's gonna come to pass that i have to wait well that I have to be of good cheer, that I have to be grateful and thankful for everything that he's done thus far. And he didn't fail me then and he won't fail me now. Um, there, There's a song I like that says, maybe you just haven't seen it yet. Doesn't mean it's not going to come to pass. It just means you ain't seen what he's going to do yet. So in the meantime, in that time of waiting for God to do what he said he's going to do, you have to have a joyful heart and start to thank God for all that he's done. I was on the way home and I was thinking like, you know, God, I'm, I know you're opening this door, but I'm thankful for where I am now. I thank you for my job now. I know you're going to give me more, but I'm thankful for what I have now. I know increase is coming, but I'm thankful for what I have now. I thank you that you've caused me to be a good steward over what I have now. I know I, I'm, a new car is coming. But I thank you for the car that I have. Um, I know that you're you're going to send me to uh, lands far out countries to preach and teach this gospel. But I thank but I am thankful for what you are causing me, who you're sending me to to teach and preach here now. You have to be thankful for where you are in life now. And sometimes it is hard to do when you are holding on to a word and a promise from God, but have a glad heart and be of good cheer and know that if God said it, he going to do it. Uh, his timing isn't our time that you just have to be man, gracious and thankful for what you have now. So wait well and know that God, if he said it, he going to do it. And just praise him for all that he's done because if he never done anything for you he's done more than enough and there's doors that he's opening uh there's ways that he's he's making you just ain't seen it yet so keep on waiting keep on hoping keep on believing god and his word and it shall come to pass be blessed people i love you have a great day bye